and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be covering how to power level Level Worker. And the reason I've decided to do that is because in patch 2.4, you can easily, easily get your hands on Field Crafty Materia Freeze, which I need on Mifri, by using Level Worker Decent. And um, I will link, I will probably make another episode about actually doing that later on. But for now, I need to get Level Worker up to. Uh, 50 on this ult so that I can level up level worker decent. Now the reason I decided to do it on an ult and not on my main is because I spent millions and millions of gil getting my carpenter blacksmith decents to 100 and my goldsmith decents to 95 on my main on Mifri so I am not prepared to trash that just for level worker just because now it's the end thing. I figured I would just power level, I would use Mifri to power level this ult to 50 level worker, then just level D synth level worker on here. So, first thing you need to do, obviously, come to the level worker guild here in Old Gridania. And I'm going to split this video into subsections. So, the first section is going to be getting from level 1 to 15, and then the rest of the video is going to just be power leveling through leave quests. So, what you do, you come here, you unlock you talk to the um, receptionist who will have a quest over their head then you talk to the guild master who will give you your very first crafting tool and once you finish the level one quest which is literally just craft one lever then you will get your hands on your first crafting chess piece now one thing i've decided to do as well to make this simple and because of my own experience, you know, because I've been crafting for more than a year and I have all the experience of a Realm Reborn crafting, is I'm going to be leveling by two towards level 15 by completing the crafting log. By doing one of every single craft, you can't even increase quality until you get to level 5. You don't even get basic touch until level 5. So I'm going to be going through this list and um, just doing one thing at a time. And I will be using Mifri to do all high quality turn ins for the leave quest for 15 plus so obviously this method does require a friend who's a 50 level worker to help you out but i will try to summarize which items are needed so anyway if i just synthesize now the reason to do the crafting log like this do one of each item is because you get a bonus amount of experience the very first time you craft something so in this case i got 181 experience for doing the craft, but 122 experience extra because it's the first time I've ever done it and I can see the little tick next to it. So I go to the next one, now I need a bronze ingot. And you can see here on this art, I really don't have any much gill at all. Um, you know, so I don't want to say that, oh, this is the method to do when you're a multi millionaire because I don't think people really appreciate that sort of thing. Just average amount of gill that any new player can get their hands on by leveling through the game to level 50. And also, this is my first time showing my alt character Blue Sideburns. So, hello from Blue Sideburns. He's a funny guy. I don't, I don't know why I haven't featured him in an episode before. I just need, needed something different from my main. So, okay, next I need okay, another bronze ingot. So yeah, so I'm gonna keep doing this until I hit level fifth, well level five, and then I'll do the next quest. And what I did as well is I copied my user interface from Mifri, which is the reason why I've got all these abilities here, and though I can't use them. Okay, now I need a cloth. So I just wanted to show you. I'm not gonna show the whole way to 115, but. I just wanted to show you why you should do one of each because it's incredibly cheap to do and the experience just flies by. Okay, I need a hamper and yarn. So for the first 10 levels, pretty much all the materials you need are right here and they, the costs are so low. Um, later on, then you'll need to go elsewhere. But I will try and cover that in um, as, as we go along. I did find some people have written some really great guides on Reddit and the official forums about how to power level class through leaf quests and also how to do it through, um, you know, just basically 
by um, well, just basically people have been doing it for a long time. So, okay, so now we do the level five quest. And the good thing about the doing the different quests is that you get a whole bunch of shards, which I'll probably transfer to Mifri when I'm done as well. Okay, so she wants three leather chokers. Cool. So what I'll do is I'll just finish this crafting log and then I'll just make two free chokers when I get to that point. Okay, so next I need bronze rivet. So this is kind of different to when I first did this, that's for sure. Okay, so now I've got basic touch. So I'll put basic touch there. So it's improving quality. So obviously the more you increase quality, the better. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna hit basic touch just because, sorry, I'm gonna hit basic synthesis because I don't see how much progress I make. So I get 10 progress, which means I'm gonna need three moves to get to 60, which means I can hit basic touch three times. That's it, two of them failed, never mind. Newbie crafter. There you go. And next leather belt. So need another bronze ingot. And same thing. I'm gonna hit basic synthesis first, see the progress. Again, 10, so I can hit basic touch three times. So as a new crafter, you have to know that once your durability hits zero, then the craft fails if, if you haven't finished the progress. So that's why I'm calculating how many synthesis I'll need to finish. So because because it's 10 per synthesis, then I know that three of them will get me to more than 21. So that means I have three spare moves, given a 60 durability, but you need to check that with each, each craft. It's not always the same. Uh, so to finish this log, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna need seven more levers. So let me get my hands on seven skins. So once I finish this level 5 quest, then I will um, continue once I'm ready to do the level 10 quest. So don't worry, you're not going to see me do the whole way 1 to 50. That, I don't want to make some like 7 hour episode. But this is useful for anyone who really wants to see the power leveling 1 to 50 of level worker. Just beginning to end all in one go, in one video, rather than it being random posts on random forums and random whatever so I'm just trying to compile all this information into one video and really show you how easy it is to level crafting in this game okay so that's seven so next I'm gonna do some leather shoes so I need animal sinew and rubber And I don't, I doubt I've even spent a thousand gil so far. So I'm assuming again it's 10 progress. So yep, so I can hit basic touch three times. Because something to know as well for any new crafter is that the higher the quality is, the more experience you get for finishing the craft. But as well, do not risk the craft failing. We are level six already. So two cloth. Okay, so this is 33. Okay, so I'm gonna need four crafts to finish it, which means I can do basic touch twice. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and there's also the crafting um, challenge log. So because I have actually, because this is a level 50 character, you know, I have level 50 finished the story for 2.2, I think, on here. And for crafting 30 items, I will get a bonus amount of experience as well. So always remember that. Um, crafting log is good. I have made another episode about how to unlock the crafting log. So this guide really isn't for people who are just like level 1, brand new to the game. It's like you should have at least finished the 2.0 story mode, got to level 50, and unlocked all the teleports to teleports around the world, all the Aetherites. Okay, so bronze ingot, animal sinew, rubber. Okay, I wonder if there's any of this gear I can actually use. Let's see. Okay, so I can actually use the belt, so let me do that. As a crafter, you want craftsmanship and control. Craftsmanship increases the rate at which your basic synthesis goes up, and control increases the rate at which high quality goes up. Okay, so this one. Basic synthesis. So again, I need four crafts, so I can hit basic touch twice. Cool. So you see there, I got 400 for doing the craft, 415 because it's the first time I've ever done it, and 420 from it being the 30th item I crafted on the crafting log. So now I can do the three chokers to finish the level 5 quest. So to do that, I need three sinews. Okay, so basic synthesis. Four, so I'm going to hit basic touch twice. Oh well, it's going to fail. It happens. But thankfully the items were returned to me, so I don't need to buy two more. Even if I had to, it would only be like 10 gills, so who cares. That's the thing though, it's like, you do need to increase your craftsmanship and control as you go along because they will start becoming too high level for you and then you'll fail a lot, as you see I've failed two in a row now. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and synthesize it straight away. So this is the first time I've actually started failing any crafts, any touches. So it seems you can you can go confidently until the end of the level five crafting log. And just like that, in like what? Well, just less than fifteen minutes, I'm already nearly level seven. Done. Let me go back to the master. Okay, so I'm going to take the headpiece because it has control and perception, but we don't—we really don't care about perception. But whatever. like that. I'm now level 7. So next thing I'll do is then work my way through here. Okay, so briefly continuing on, I've done one of every single item in the second part of the uh, recipe and I'm almost level 10 already. 
and at level 9 you get your hands on steady hand which improves success rate so if I just show you an example okay so steady hand really increases chances of success basic emphasis so I'm gonna need four for that so I can hit basic touch twice and when steady hand wears off just refresh it there you go so that's level 10 done already and now at level 10 we've unlocked quick synthesis so for one of these recipes like if I need to make a bunch of levers more then I can use quick synthesis to do it quickly if I need to make a whole bunch of them. So anyway, let me finish the last craft and then I'll go get the level 10 quest. This is really so fast, it's like, but it's just because my experience is shining through sort of thing. You wouldn't know all this stuff unless you've played the game. And the good thing as well is that a lot of the gear that you make, you can wear and it will help the crafting level out at least a little bit. And so we're only trying to get to level 15 so that we can do leave turn-ins. Okay, so that's done. That's the first two done. And I'll do these when I'm getting towards level 15. So anyway, so let me see, let's see what gear I've crafted. Okay, hang on, actually check my bags, not my armory chest. Okay, so I can wear those, nine control. And let's see what else. Another nine control. So I've almost crafted myself a full armor set, just like that. Nine control, cool. Nine control, so my belt's already been updated, upgraded. So now I'm going to see what I need to do for the level 10 quest. And I'll get, and as well, remember every single time you do a new uh, quest, you get a new crafting tool. So remember to actually equip it. I'm always trying to increase quality as much as I can. Okay. Oh, I need to do 12. Interesting. I need to do 10 more. teleport to the future. Done. So I'm already halfway to level 11. The chest piece for this one. So I'll wear the new chest piece and I'll wear the new tool. Okay. So next, I'm going to do the next crafting log, this one, all the way to 15, and then we can start the leave grind. So once I'm ready for the 15 quest, I'll see you there. Okay, so continuing on, I have now finished the third hunt, um, crafting log for level worker. Made one of each, not, nothing more than one of each, and I am... Um, 
a little bit into level 14. Now one thing I wanted to remind you of is that because Rogue and Ninja are new in patch 2.4, everyone is buying up low level uh, leveling gear for Rogue. So um, if I show you the prices I'm selling these items at, uh, it's just ridiculous and they are selling as well. So look at these prices. Because the demand for this sort of gear is so high at the moment, some of these items are selling for ridiculous prices. So um, I've actually already um, made a profit from doing this and I'm, I'm not even level 15 yet. So don't vendor all the items. Some of them might be incredibly valuable at this point. You know, maybe 6,000 gil is not much to some people, but to me, given that it costs about 7 gil to make, 6,000 gil selling is like a really amazing profit so anyway um, what I'm gonna do until level 15 is I'm gonna just make um, a few more of these um, hard lever items and then once we get to level 15 we will continue but then we can then start the leaf grind so almost there okay so continuing on I've hit level 15 so I'm gonna quickly do the level 15 quest I had the materials ready ahead of time. Cool. So Neil. Okay. <laughs> Neil before so so batty to apologize. Fair enough. I really don't remember doing this the first time. Okay, so we got some new equipment. My God. I'm gonna put some trousers on him at least. <laughs> Okay, so I have now the materials as well to finish off the fourth crafting log, which I'm going to do just for the sake of it, because a lot of these items are selling for insane prices. And then we will start with the leave quest. So I'll see you for the first leaves. Okay, so now the time has come to do level 15 to 20 using leave quests. The leave quest I'm going to do is here in the Gridania Adventurer's Guild. So you need to talk to Gon Ra Rant, God, Gontrant, the leave meat, do tradecraft leaves, and then it's the level worker one. And this is the one you want, skin off their backs. And you need high quality Algot levers to turn in. So uh, I was, according to the guide I'm using, which I will link in the description, you need 24 Algot levers because you need to turn this in eight times and then you'll be level 20. And this is unfortunately annoying because you have to keep going back and forth between Half and Hut and Gridania. So one thing I'm going to quickly do before I start this process, because I know that I'm going to be coming back and forth between here and Half and Hut, is I'm going to set my free teleport to here so that I can keep teleporting back to Gridania for free. So go to your Aetherite, set register free destination, yes, before it was Limsa, but whatever. It's just because I'm going to keep going back and forth, so that means I will have to pay for the teleports to Half and Heart, but not to back to Gridania. And the way to get a free teleport activated, you need to use an authenticator on your account. So make sure you have an authenticator, whether it's the physical one or smartphone app, and because it's extra security for your account, and also that's one of the perks of having it. So anyway, let's do Tradecraft Leaves, skin off your back, accept. And I've got 100 allowances, which will allow me to get straight to level 50 today. So anyway, let's now teleport to Half on Hut. So like I said, unfortunately I am going to have to teleport back and forth 
like eight times, but if it gets me straight to level 20 level worker, so be it. And then I'll do the level 20 quest. Okay, so turn in. With high quality um, items, it says here the delivery included one or more high quality items. Your reward has been increased by 100%. So, which is great. So you see, I get the reward twice because of the increase. That's it. Level 17 already. Now, one thing I did do prior to this is that after I hit level 15, is I got and finished all of the fourth crafting log for level worker. So I, I did that, I just got it out of the way, and that got me to like halfway through level 16. And then you can see here, I turned in this leaf once, and I've already hit level 17. So to be honest, given I've already made 24 high quality levers, um, I'm probably going to get way beyond the level 20, which is great. So like I said, it can be a little bit annoying having to constantly teleport back and forth, but whatever, we're power leveling, so there has to be some little tiny tiny bit of effort involved, and this is not really effort compared to other things in the game. So skin off their backs, except... The shroud. And the thing is as well, with the guild rewards that you're getting from the leave, it will cover all the teleport costs as well. So, almost level 18 already. Now, when I originally was leveling up crafting in this game, if uh, those who were here at the beginning know, uh, you used to get a 200% bonus for high quality, which meant you got triple the reward uh, of the leave, which which is basically how I got all of my crafts to 50, because when I got first got the game, the first thing I did, I got my bard to 50, finished the story mode, and then I, was, I spent all of my time crafting. And uh, if you look at my old... Uh, crafting videos you can see the day I hit everything to level 50 at once and that's how I did it I got them all to 15 manually which you saw is very very easy to do and then I just leaved the whole way for every craft now the obviously the challenge for me though back then was uh, I didn't have anyone to make me high quality materials I had to do it all myself but because I have now Mifri to do all the high quality materials for my ult this is going to be a very quick process Okay, level 18. New ability, standard touch. And the good thing for me as well is that I'm already, you know, I already have all of my rotations down for up to 3 star. So, you know, I don't have to worry about not knowing how to use new abilities when I get them. I'm already effectively the master of crafting. And, um,. The reason I'm I'm doing this, like I said if, at the beginning of the video, is that I want to get this straight to level 50, and then I'm going to be leveling up uh, level worker desynth, because as a patch 2.4, you can desynth bridesmaids boots to get your hands on really <laughs> easy field crafting material freeze and um, hard hippogriff leather. So I'm doing that. So the reason I'm doing it as well is because. When you play an MMO, when you do anything, it's always better to be self-sufficient than to line someone else's pockets out of laziness. Because what I'm trying to do with this video is show you how easy and quick it is to get straight to level 50 of a craft if you have a friend who can provide the materials for you. And for Level Worker and also for the, the links in the description, um, I'm showing you how... You know, people have mastered this already. They've already worked out exactly the number of turnings you need for each level range. So you don't need to ask for any more materials than is exactly needed. Not all of the turnings are going to be like this, which is great. You know, some of them will just be, except the leaf turn it in in the same place, which will make it a lot easier. Um, when I get to that. So for example, the level 20 to 25 range will all be based in quarry mill. 
It's just a case of I just need to get the materials ready on Mifri. But like I say, get a friend to craft these. If you try and buy all these high quality materials off the market board, you're going to go bankrupt. It's not worth it. Get a friend to do it. They can do it for a fraction of the price if they're a level 50 level worker. Like when I say a fraction, I mean like an incredibly low fraction, like 10% of the cost or less even. And then what will happen is, is that the rewards in terms of gill you get from the leave quest especially later on will more than cover the cost of all the materials that were needed to make them if you have a level 50 worker making them for you and then that means it's not the case of your friend has to spend money to power level you you can pay your friend back everything and more if you want okay and the also the reason I'm doing this and so quickly is because when there is any overpowered method of doing something in any MMO, the creator sometimes might feel that, oh, that's a lot easier than we intended. And then they apply a hotfix to prevent it happening. So for all we know, the being able to desynthesize Bride's Maze gear might not be in the game forever. So I'm intending to take full of advantage of it while it's still here. you can see almost level 20 already I have enough materials for two more turn-ins and but the reason like I said I already got like an extra level and a half um, do, finishing off the fourth crafting log Cool, level 20. So I'm gonna just do the last turn in. There's no problem being a little bit ahead and then go do the level 20 quest. And the reason I'm doing the quest while they're still relevant is because you can get experience reward for it, but also just so when I get to level 50, I don't suddenly have to then go back and do like so many, all of the different levels of, you know, crafting all at once, it's not worth it. Backs. So I will as well. I will as well. Tr sorry, try to summarize everything I've done, how many leaves it took, and so on. And the guide that I'm using is very detailed. It has all the materials, all the everything. But I will summarize it in the description below. But I do always give uh, references to where I got the material from. I did not invent this method. I did not research these leaves. You know, I will not pretend, but all I'm doing is showing you, you know, it being done, nothing more. Okay, so now I'm going to return to New Gridania. We can do the level 20 quest. Let's see, so Aethernet, Level Worker Guild. Skipping through these, this is the past for me, you know. 
So now I need to deliver a pair of Materia Enhanced Goatskin Leggings. So I think I crafted some Goatskin Leggings earlier on. Yes, I did. But I need to get the material, Materia Enhanced. Now, I don't know if I actually have it unlocked at the moment. Yeah, I don't have Spirit Bonding unlocked. So what you need to do to get Spirit Bonding unlocked, you need to go to Central Final Man. Once you have a, I think it's like a level 16 craft or something like that. And then you can unlock it. And the place you go is right here, do this quest, walking, I think it's this one, waking the spirit. So not too far from Blackbrush Station. I believe that you're able to unlock this as long as you have the appropriate level, but for all crafts except for Culinarian. Because Culinarian, there is no gear that you can Materia melt, so... Okay, wishes you to melt Materia. Okay. Let's see. Just explaining it to me. That in order to meld stuff, you need um, carbonized matter. So material melding is now available. So I want goat skin leggings. And I've got that, but I need a grade one carbonized matter in order to do it. So let me return to Gridania and pick one up. So I, have, I do apologize if overall this video ends up being more than an hour long, but you know, it's the entire of level working 1 to 50 in one video, so <laughs> you can't blame me too much, you know? It's a grade 1 carbonized matter. I doubt anyone's selling an individual one. So what I'm going to do is, I hope someone's selling it for 12 million gil as well, which is very stupid. But anyway, let me just check my free company chest. Oh wow, don't have any. So, hmm. The quest for a grade one carbonized map. Eight sub. Uh, Oh, cool. So, I just sold some random items, so I just buy eight and I put the rest of my free company chest or something. Because, like I said before, because all of these low-level items sell for such insane prices, um, you know, I've made a profit this whole time anyway, even getting to level 15. I was thinking about using some of this spare gear on, because I'm leveling up my rogue as well at the moment on my main, but... Um, I have this sort of thing of not running around in gear which isn't high quality, so I'll just get Mifri to high quality everything once I'm at the level range for Rogue. So anyway, let's now Materia Meld. We want goat skin leggings. I just have a random Materia. And over. Okay, so now we have some actual crafting leggings. Awesome. So not that any of this gear matters anymore because I'm going to be doing leave quests. So next we're going to do 20 to 25 in quarry mill. Okay, so we're now at quarry mill. So what we need to do is we need to do the leave quest called, let's see, open to attack. So talk to this guy, Nell, the leave guy here in Quarry Mill in South Shroud, and open to attack, accept. That's it. 
We'll turn it in over here. So at least we don't have to teleport, it's just going to be running back and forth. And we need to do this nine times to get to level 25. Just learn great strides. So far, we've only used like seven or eight leave allowances, and that's it. So just make sure you select the right one each time so you don't waste any leave allowances. Lots of people doing fates in South Shroud because they're leveling up for a good ninja. there. I know it's not exactly the most exciting thing to watch, but I just wanted to prove that it's possible to do it this quickly. I feel as well it is important to react to changes in patches and what I mean by react to them is not to change everything you do but to just see what new things or new opportunities has the patch brought which can now then be taken advantage of which wasn't there before. There you go, now level 25. And one more turn in. So I'm going to return to Gridania. It's a good idea throughout all of this process to have Gridania as your free teleport anyway, because you're going to have to return to Gridania every time you want to do a level worker quest. I'm not sure yet if I'll do this for the other crafts, if I make, will make other videos power leveling each one to 50. Um, maybe I will, I don't know. It, it depends on the viewers. Uh, if you would like me to do them, let me know, and then I could just I could do them here on blue. Just get them all to 50, just for the sake of it, because it's so fast and easy. Anyway, let's do the level 25 quest. So again, it's just skipping through it. I had to turn in a high-quality toad lever, which I already had ready. 
right, hand over. It's something from level 25 onwards, they insist on high quality turn-ins to just prove your skills. Now we have to go give the lever to, was it A Amar? Save myself five seconds by teleporting to the eighth right because it's free. Ah, there they are. Okay, so once again, Nathan at Level Worker Guild. And now that I'm 25, again, the next one is actually going to be in Quarry Mill as well, until level 30. And then, yeah, so I'll, I need to get the materials ready, which I'll do on my main, and then we can go back to Blue to get to level 30. So I'm preparing the mats for each of the five level ranges only when I get to the level range and also I'm preparing the turn-in required to do the quest for the appropriate level as well. Oh, all this gear is irrelevant I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready for the 25 to 30 quest back in Quarry Mill. Okay, so now continuing on for level ranges 25 to 30, I need to do the Leave Quest campaign in the Membrane, which is also here in Count Tranquil. And we've been told to do this 11 times. Now by coincidence, you need to also turn in a toad skin jacket for the level 30 quest, so I've made 12, but I'm only going to turn in 11 of them. So we go, campaign in the membrane, except... Again... This will get me straight to level 30. So you might have seen that since the beginning of the video, my guild has basically not gone down. I started at 190k, I still have 190k, I'm in fact about to hit 200k. Well, of course, I do have the benefit of the fact that my main is also already a level 50 level worker, so I can get all the cheap materials made into high quality turn ins straight away. Now getting a thousand guild per leave as well, which is wonderful. Also got a challenge log done just then as well. Challenge log, which one was it? Ah, leave quests. So because I did five, so I've done 20 leave quests so far today. I got 2,000 and this resets every week. And then once I have visited five different leave people, which I will have at some point, I'll get another bonus as well, which is great. So 
So power leveling is extremely fast, that's why this is just one long episode. There's no need to split it into multiple parts. It really is that simple. Obviously a lot more people here now because everyone's trying to level up Rogue and Ninja, I suppose. South Shroud is a very nice place. You can literally stay here from like, what, level 15 all the way to level 30 plus. So obviously I need to make sure that I've got at least one, one of these set aside so I can turn it in six more times after this one. Good, I've passed 200,000 guilt. So for now, all of this work is just because I want to get my hands on some cheap Fieldcraft Dematerial Freeze by using Level Worker Desynth. And the reason I want to get my hands on cheap Fieldcraft Dematerial Freeze is because I want to get all of the Sopra tools on my main. I was not prepared to do it when the field crafty material freeze were worth up to 250k each. It was definitely not worth it. That's why I insisted on just selling them. And that's what allowed me to get to pretty much 10 million gil on my main. And now that field crafty material freeze are next to worthless, it was definitely worth it. Because it means now uh, all the extra cash I've generated will be very useful for me. And you didn't really need to get the supper tools before 4 star anyway. So it's just my, you know, it's my experience of playing MMOs, that's all it is. I've been playing MMOs for so long that you can predict behavior of how progression works and so on. They follow a certain pattern or, it's not really a set of rules, it's just like a common way of doing things, especially when it comes to releasing new content and stuff, because you always need to progress, and therefore old stuff will always become nerfed and easier. So if something is worth a huge amount of money at one point, it won't always be worth that amount of money. That's, that's a guarantee in MMOs, so even if it's worth millions now, eventually it'll be worthless. And it's something you just have to accept and um, you know always be ready to push for the new stuff. go level 30 already so I think I can do this twice more I can do it once more okay and then I'll go back to town and then do the level 30 quest and remember that all of the stuff I crafted right at the beginning I am still selling so I'll go back to the retainer when I'm in town as well to see how much money I've made so far. Okay, so I'm already halfway to 31, so let me now go back to Gridania. Now the next leave quest will involve teleporting back and forth between Gridania and Costa del Sol, but whatever. We're making enough money for that to be okay. And it's not like I'm being lucky with the money I'm, I'm earning here. It's like anyone doing this now would be earning the equivalent money. You really don't need that much startup cash. And if you have a level 50 friend to boost you, as in level 50 level worker, then this is a very simple process. It's nice going from like level 0 to level 50 in a single day, that's for sure. Okay, so let's see how many of my items sold so far. Wow. So half of them sold already. Look at that. <laughs> 30,000 gil from level like 1 to 10 crafts. It's ridiculous. Let me sell the rest of my stuff. Wow, these prices are just ridiculous. But then again, um, when it comes to it also in this game, 
new gill is always being created from doing leaves, from doing whatever, so the value of gill is always going down, which is what causes prices to go up. It's daunting for new players, really, seeing the prices being so high, but at the same time, the thing to remember is that because certain items are selling so expensively, let's say, when you get your hands on them to sell them yourself, even on a brand new character, it means that you can earn money quickly and um, have millions of gil to spend, so... So I'm, I'm, I'm that guy that undercuts you by one gil on the market board, I'm really sorry about that. This is all of the items I made before, right at the beginning. It's a good thing though, I don't know if it's the same on every server, but on Sargatanis at least the economy is really good, so things do sell really quickly. And also, at the time of filming it just happens to be a Saturday, so during weekends the servers are extra busy and the market board is alive. But it's also great design, here we go, another 40,000 gil, ridiculous. So it's, but it's good design on Square Enix's part, thank Yoshida for that, that there isn't a single item in the game which does not have a use elsewhere, whether it's for crafting or something. Every single item in the game has got a purpose. And the ones which are vendor trash, they have good value at the vendor, so it really is a very well designed game, there's no wastage whatsoever. Because in other MMOs, like for example Final Fantasy XI or the original 14.1.0 or World of Warcraft, whatever, you have so many items you can just bin because they're just not needed. So it makes you wonder why they're in the game to begin with. Okay, so we need to talk to Camilane, who is next to the Dragoon Guild. Or Lancer Guild, I should say. Okay, Lancer's Guild. So, level 30 already, that was quick. It's especially nice given the fact that I'm only turning in for like each five levels, like 10 items, you know, it's really, really fast. Okay, back to the Level Worker Guild. Now the thing is though, is that I'm going to need like 110 or more field crafty materia free, so just because there is some new efficient way of getting them, it doesn't make the job any easier, it's still going to take a huge amount of d-simps to get there. Okay, so we need to give the jacket to him. And once that's done and the quest is done, I will work on the next level range. So, like I said before in the episode, if you want me to make power leveling guys for the other crafts, please just let me know if you have any preferred one I do next. It will pretty much involve the same thing, just manually getting to level 15 and then doing leaves for the rest of the way. And you can see as well, even by level 30, I've only used 25 leave allowances, so you don't need that many. I've been sitting on 100 leave allowances on both my main and my old for months now.
Okay, so what shall I turn in? Velveteen gown. Um, you know, I'm going to start taking the silver pieces. I don't think gear even matters anymore. That's funny. I didn't even use this initiates head knife. We'll probably sell that on the market board as well. You can see I'm still wearing like level 10 gear from this morning. No problem. Okay, so now I'm going to get the materials ready and then we're going to head towards 30 to 35, which will be done by running between Gridania and Costa del Sol. Okay, so now that we're ready to do level 30 to 35, we need to come back to Gridania, to the Adventurer's Guild, and we can run between Gridania and Eastern Lan Lanosia to Costa del Sol. And at level 30 you also have the ability to unlock the same thing and level up the same thing to level 100, so let's uh, do a little dance for that so we're now at the synth level which is the main purpose of this but I've decided to just finish off this episode by reaching level 50 anyway because it's only like four or five sets more and you can see that each turn in each five levels is barely 10 or 11 turn ins it's really really easy so I might as well finish it straight to 50 so let's it now see which quest it is so the quest is called just cinch it this one so let's accept. So as before, we're going to have to teleport back and forth. So each time going to Costa del Sol. I've set Costa del Sol as a favorite destination as well to get cheaper teleport. So it's 208 gil to teleport. Free teleport back because remember my free teleport to Gridania. It was activated. So I'm going to return to Gridania for free as much as I like. And I also have the item ready as well already for the level 35 quest. Wow. So one quest and you get 96,000 experience. It's really ridiculous. And imagine that before it used to be even higher than this. <laughs> so, yeah. So crafting is really, really easy in this game to level up. But it's how you use the crafting as well, which is also important, which is why I have so many guides. So um, you can see I have a whole series, a whole collection of crafting guides that I've been making since The Realm Reborn came out. So please check them out. They're all for all ra level ranges. But this as well, this is more like the modern way of doing it because a lot of people have leveled everything to 50 in this game. This game's been out for a year. So it's now a good time to try and catch up with everyone before the expansion launches. Once the expansion launches, then we're all going to be back on a level playing field trying to discover how to do everything at level uh, 60 all over again. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this 10 times, but whatever. And the next one is probably the... Well, actually, the, the next two are even worse, because the next two involve going to the Observatorium, and the other one involves going to White Brim in Corphus. But neither of them have got teleport points, so both of those will involve teleporting to Dragonhead and then running all the way there, which is... It's going to be annoying, that's for sure, but thankfully we only have to do it about ten times and we're done.
I have been meaning to do this guide for a very, very long time, but now I've got a real reason to, because I like to do things that have more than one reason. So I wanted to level up a craft on my ult anyway, I wanted to have more desimps available to my account. So not just the three that's on Mifri, but also just more of them, so level work is my first one on my ult. And also as well, because it's going to be the way I get loads of field crafting material freeze, which I need for the supper tools on my main. So, like I say, multiple, multiple reasons. I, I try and have as many reasons as possible to do something in the game to make it definitely worth uh, prioritizing. And I don't care if I'm not the first to do Shiva Extreme, or I'm not the first to level Ninja, or I'm not the first to do Turn Final Coil, or whatever. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. I'm doing what I feel is right in each moment, and I'm enjoying the game for myself, because that's the good thing about MMOs. You do what you want to do, and the other people doing the same things as you can help you out. If there's there are people doing other things, whatever, you know, when you change your mind, you'll find other people to do things with you, so there is a good enough population in this game that there's always someone doing the thing you want to do you know regardless what that thing is there's enough players that there's people doing everything Almost 33, got six more turn ins to go. So, like I say, 35 to 45 is going to be extra annoying because we're going to be spending more time traveling and teleporting than actually turning quests in, but so what? You know, it's just one day. And I'll be 50 level worker in this alt forevermore. Because that's the point. I think that's part of the design philosophy they've gone for in this game. It's like, yeah, things might be easier than some other MMOs, but it's fun. It's enjoyable. And that's the point of playing a game. You're supposed to enjoy it. It's very rewarding. Go, level 33, two levels to go. So, as you can see in the description, I have split this video up into the different level ranges, so you can skip back and forth between the different level ranges as you wish. There is no need to watch the entire video beginning to end to try and find out where I was doing each level range. I've saved you the time by putting it straight in the description. And as well, I'm not one of these websites or people that says, you know, oh, you know, give me money and I'll show you my ultimate guide to doing this. They're all available for free. They always will be free. So, yeah. 
if you feel a need to reward me for my work then a thank you is always welcome a great video comment is always welcome and if you really really want to touch on me support I have an Amazon wish list feel free but there's nothing really that special on it maybe eventually I'll add the donation tab but I'll feel kind of guilty about that I'll probably just end up giving all the money to charity if I ever opened it up because yeah, I'm doing this because I enjoy it not because I want to make any money from it making any money from it is nice and it is useful but it's not the goal you know I didn't start playing this game with the force of let's try and make money that's not a reason to play a game definitely not and I could no way I would have dedicated myself to this for more than a year if I didn't enjoy it One thing I'm trying to do as well though is that I do find lots of really amazing guides on Reddit, on the official forums and stuff like that. So I'm trying to do those guides justice and that's why I link back to all of them is to try and say that whoever's written those guides has done excellent work on providing all the information in one place really easily. And um, you know, this is how I've been able to get through it myself and how I found, how useful I found it. There's no harm copying other people's methods if they are proven to work. And then if there's any ways you can refine them and improve them further, go for it. Okay, three more turn-ins. Tedious, tedious, tedious. But, like I say, when I started this video, I was level one. I was, you know... So, <laughs> to go from there to level 34 already is just insane. two to go and then I can do the level 35 quest though to be honest the next one's probably is what's going to actually make me hit level 35 yep as I said I'll do the one more just for the sake of it. Okay, last turn in and we're done with Costa del Sol on Level Worker. Done, easy peasy. So now back to Gridania to do the Level 35 Level Worker quest. Someone wearing the exact same gear as me. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm now going to get the materials ready for 35 to 40. So 35 to 40, as I said, is done by turning, starting in Gridania, turning quests in, in the, sorry, in the Observatorium in Corfus. So we will continue then. Okay, so we're now going to be carrying on towards level 35 to 40. So what we need to do is we need to accept a leave quest here in Grudania at the Adventurers Guild and we need to go towards the Observatorium in Corfus. So the leave quest is called the Righteous Tools for the Job. So let's see, Tradecraft leaves, go the Righteous Tool for the Job, accept. So there's two choices. There's either go to the Camp Dragonhead, or you can go to North Shroud and run from there. Either way, it takes about the equivalent time to run to the Observatorium. So this needs to be done 11 times to hit level 40. So don't worry, I'm not going to record myself running back and forth to Dragonhead 11 times, but I just wanted to, sh I will do it twice. I'll show you the route from Dragonhead and I'll show you the route from Norse Shroud and then the rest I'll skip through. So this really has gone a lot quicker than I thought it would, <laughs> that's for sure. So wow, 35, that's really funny. I am intending, once this video is done, to then work on a power leveling guide for level worker desynth as well. Six, so let's now return to Pedania. Okay, so again, Tradecraft leaves, the righteous tools for the job. So this time I'm going to teleport to North Shroud and show you the way from there. So it's up to you which one you prefer to go. They are the equivalent running times. So from Fulgore Float you go west and then the Sound to Corpus is right there. So the, like I said, the next part of the quest will be from 40 to 45 and then that will involve going from Gridania to White Prim. Now there might be the question of why not do the quests that require that you can turn in three items over then do it three times each. It's because the amount of extra work is just the amount of extra crafting that needs to be done is not worth it. As you can see in this, I might have to spend a little bit of time traveling but I only have to turn it in once. Okay, so I'm now going to do this nine more times and then I will show the last turn in and 
then show the level 40 quest. Okay, so I've now turned this in 10 times, and you can see I'm already level 40. I've got one more turn in to do, so let me do that now. Awesome. So now I'm going to head back to Redania and do the level 40 level worker quest. Always remember this is a power leveling guide. This is not the guide of how to be the best level worker. This is just how to get it straight to 50. Blacksmith. They are blacksmithy gloves after all. And back to Love Worker Guild. rewards from different levels. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to check on the progress of the items I was selling from before to see how much money I've made. Because you remember I started with 190,000 and now I've got 290,000. So... So like, you know, so I'm getting straight to 50 and also making money along the way, I haven't lost any money. Wow, not bad. Just remember the fact that all I was selling was the items I crafted from level 1 to 15. the other retainer. So, 316,000, that's really funny. So I've nearly doubled my money from the beginning. And like I said, I didn't put some insane amount of gill, which is unrealistic to, compared to new players. I put a reasonable amount. I mean, as a brand, even if you start the game today, by the time you hit 50, you'll have more than 200,000 gill, definitely. So yeah, so now the next quest is going to involve doing running from Gridania to White Prim. So I'm just going to get the materials ready and then we will continue. Okay, so now we're at the point of doing 40 to 45. So we need to come back to the Gridania Adventurers Guild, which we have, talk to the leave guy and accept the leave called the Birdman of Ishgard. So the Birdman of Ishgard, okay, this one. Which will involve us having to travel back and forth between here and White Brim. So as before, I'm going to do it the first time, and then we will skip until the level 45 quest. So we're in the final stretch now, not much longer, and then we'll be level 50. And as well, 
you know, but this is, this guy, like I said, is a power leveling guide. It's, there are so many achievements to do after you've hit level 50. There's a whole bunch of crafting gear that you will need to get as well, which I won't cover in this video because I don't want it to be some 10 hour <laughs> level worker video. And you can also look at my previous guides as well about gear and stuff. I probably will be making a new guide for patch 2.4 as well because a whole bunch of new crafting items were added into patch 2.4. So I will try and cover those soon. I'm not sure when because it depends how long it takes for me to do. But at least I've got this level 50 level worker out of the way. So from Count Dragon Head, you go straight west and White Brim is right here. And then the last stretch from 45 to 50 will involve us going from Gridania to St. Connax find in Mordona, which I will obviously cover at the end of the video. go. Awesome. So, and you can see the absolutely insane amount of experience I got for that as well. So, yeah, so I'm going to do this, um, I think, 10 more times or maybe 9 more times. Basically, as soon as I hit level 45, and then we will continue when I want to do the level 45 level worker quest. Okay, so I've now turned in this leave nine times, so I'm here to turn it in for the tenth time to hit level 45. Done. That's level 45. So now I'm going to return to Gridania to do the level 45 quest. So I have included in the description all of the items you need to create and also all of the quest rewards for the different level ranges as well. Okay, so now I need to give these three items out around the town, it seems. Right, so one of them is at the Conjurer Guild. Turning to the plaza, I guess it's the quickest way to get back to the Adventurer's Guild.
another workers guild. plus six. So now we need to finish off the last set of quests. So we will be ready to go to St. Connard's Find. So the last leave is going to be from Gridania to St. Connard's Find. Okay, so we're now at the very last leave quest to get to 50. So we're here back at Gridania. And at the Adventurer's Guild, we need to talk to the Leave guy. And the reason we keep coming back to this guy as well is because these three on here are fixed. There's only these three. There isn't any other ones. Whereas when you do Leave quests in other places, they can sometimes, for example, you might have three on the list, but there might be six that are available. So only three will randomly be shown, which means you can't repeat the same one over and over again. Whereas starting them from the Adventurer's Guild, you can repeat the same ones over and over again to ensure that, you know, you can get guaranteed result along the way. So the quest we've just accepted is called Hang In There. So now we need to journey to St. Connor's Fine. So again, it's going to be tedious, but if this is, you know, the shortest way to get to level 50, then so be it. I mean, given that the video is just over an hour long, you know, it's really not that bad. So I do come to Revenant's Toll a lot, so that's why I've set it as a favoured destination. And from Revenant's Toll, Connard Find is here. So it's a bit of a run, but it's not as bad as White Brim or even up the Observatorium. So we're basically going to keep doing this until we're 50. Then do the level 50 quest, get the level 50 crafting tool, and that'll be it. And as I said before, I will not be covering gearing up in this video. I don't want it to be some ridiculously insane video. But I have spent a lot of time and effort on this video as well. Um, to be honest, it was sort of two days beginning to end to get this video made. But completely worth it because it showed how quickly it was. Uh, to get from level 1 to 50 of a craft on an alt, so that's wonderful. And like I said, if you have, it is required that you have a level 50 level worker friend to help you out with this, but, you know, it's really been so easy to do. So let's hand over that. And to be honest, when I was doing this the first time, 45 to 50 was probably the easiest to do because the amount of experience you get per turn in is just insane. So I need to do this about, let's see. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. So 11 more times until 50. And then I've already got my level 50 quest item ready for um, finishing my level 50 quest. So once I get ready for the last turn to hit level 50, we will continue. Okay, so the time has now come to hit level 50. So that was quick. So let's turn this last one in. Awesome. There you go. Level 50, level worker. So that's basically it. So now I'm going to go back to Gridania and finish the level 50 quest. To be honest, I didn't think I would do it this quickly either. It just shows how powerful the leave quests are. And overall, I think I've used, see there, 62 leave allowances. Let's assume you need 70 leave allowances just for the, to be on the safe side to finish 15 to 50. So I will leave these leave allowances to rebuild on my ult, and then when I go back to 100, maybe I'll do another power level, maybe for like Weaver or something. But I'm happy that I've got this one done at least. And as I said before, 
is the reason I've been doing the quest along the way, so that when I get to this point, I can just, you know, finish it. I don't have to, you know, worry about it too much. I don't have to go back and do, like, 20 quests at once. I have recorded all of the uh, level 50 quests before, so I will link in the description the level 50 level worker quest done in its entirety. Just in case you are interested to see the level 50 quest. Because each one of the classes in the game, including all of the Disciples of Hand and Land, have a story to it. So this is a good way and I do enjoy it. It is interesting to read through the story and see all parts of the game. The only reason I'm skipping through it now is because I've done it before. I have already other videos for it. And this is a power leveling guide. This is do it as quickly as possible guide. So running back and forth. So it is a bit of an effort, but like I said, in the space of two days, I've already finished this whole process. And what this now means is that I don't have to worry about leveling up Level Worker on my ult again. And as well, I only really did this so that I could do desynthesis with Level Worker. But at the same time, I didn't want to just stop at level 30 and that's it, then do desynth. I thought that was a bit lazy. I figured, let's just get it to 50, get it done in case I need it in the future for something else, especially in the expansion. There might be an advantage of having multiple classes on multiple alts to 50. Because for example, at the current moment, you can only level up um, three desynthesis classes all the way, really. So having it on multiple characters means that on this character I can pick up three more decimps and take them to 100. So I'll probably do like Level Worker, Weaver, or maybe the Culinarian or something, which would then leave on the Armorer and um, Alchemist to do maybe on a third halt one day. And given how quick it is to get these to 50, it would really not be that much of an effort to do. I might do a speed leveling guide for getting through the 1 to 50 as a new character. I'll take the gold pieces because I'll, I'll be crafting high quality armor anyway. Awesome. There you go. Level 50 level worker done. So I don't have any gear. You can see that some of the gear I'm still wearing is still like level 10 for goodness sake, but whatever, level 50 done. So that is my power leveling guide for getting from 1 to 50 level worker. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any feedback on the leaves that I did, I, I will link in the description of the Reddit post that I did follow to do this, and it was a really fun exercise, you know, just to prove how quick it is. Like, doing something the first time is difficult, but in an MMO, once you've done it on one character, then you can support other characters as well. You can be completely self-sufficient. So I can, in theory, power level all of my other crafts to 50 um, in terms of Disciples of the Hand. Disciples of the Land, there's no way to power level them. You just have to grind through them. Um, but Disciples of the Hand, because I can do the high quality turn-ins for me from Mifri, it made it a lot easier. So yeah, that's it. So if you have any feedback or whatever, any suggestions, if you like this style of power leveling video, then please let me know in the comments below. I do appreciate all the support, and I guess this is a real time to see my alt character blue sideburns I've kept kind of hidden until now. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, goodbye from the spirit of Mifri, and goodbye from blue sideburns.